Ah, good day everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft SOS. Now listen, I've heard you guys in the comments, you want face cam back, but I'm traveling right now and I don't have my camera, but soon when I'm back in LA, I will do face cam, I promise. Uh, but anyways, today in this hardcore Minecraft world, we are going to be decorating the inside of my house. Well, at least part of it, maybe all of it, I don't know. But I've already started working on the inside a little bit by putting item for above my chest and uh, it's super helpful now that I actually know what goes where but it just looks so open and empty I really just want to fill in the space so that's what we're gonna do at the beginning of this episode I've gathered some of the materials I'm gonna need so just enjoy this little time-lapse of me decorating <laughs> Okay, I feel like the time lapse is probably not <laughs> the best, but here is sort of the final product. I think it looks way more cozy. The bases are way more filled. And now I just wanna work on the floor. So I got glazed terracotta, which, ooh, how do I do this? How do I make this a pattern that works? Do I have to go from this way? No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat this. How do I do this? Dang it! Hello? Go. Oh my gosh. Why? It should automatically do it. Thank you. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, if I'm facing this way, it should go. There we go. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Look at that. That is such a pretty pattern. It's like little flowers. Okay. I already have forgotten how to do this. Yes! Oh, I did it. Oh, I'm so good at this. Okay, I may have spoken too soon. Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. Oh, who knew being an artist was so difficult? Okay, wait, this way? No, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do anything. Ah, oh, okay, love that. Now I have to just do it all over again. Oh, I I never want to do that again. Why was that so stressful? I I don't understand the science behind it, and I never want to. <sighs> okay, let's place some moss carpet down to fill in the space over here. Maybe we'll even do like a little welcome mat up here. That's cute. And then over here as well. Yes. Okay, that's so much more homey. I want to add some bookshelves up there, but I ran out of paper. So we could probably just go steal some sugarcane down by the river. But first, let's go to bed. And I'm going to figure out how to make my computer not lag when shaders is on. Well, good morning. Okay, so I have to turn shaders off because as you guys have mentioned in previous videos, the lag is just not cute. If you guys don't know, I am currently traveling. I'm in London right now, so I'm using a laptop. And the settings are a little bit wonky. You know, I don't know how to, uh, you know, make it seem less like to the USA when I'm on my laptop. Even though I can fully play Baldur's Gate, which is a, a huge ass game and not have any issues. So I don't really know why Minecraft is a struggle, but apparently it's too much for my sweet little laptop. She tries though. But anyways, let's steal some of this sugar cane and we'll make a bunch of books. Let's go over here where all, all of it really is. The plethora. I'm assuming this is Ollie, so thank you Ollie so much for your contribution. Well, I've snatched <laughs> every piece of sugar cane I possibly could. But, uh, I don't believe that's enough. Let's see. If we were to turn that into paper, I have to use crap in the bowl. Oh, look at it. There's actually a little bit more. Oh my god, my house looks gorgeous up there. I guess the only thing I could potentially also need is leather. I don't know if I have enough. I need so many bookshelves. I think I need like 48 bookshelves, which is absolutely wild. So, will I have enough? Probably not. So will we have to go kill a thousand cows? Yes, we will. Or we could just go find a bunch of villages. <gasps> or, no, I was gonna talk real crazy. I was gonna say we could go find a stronghold, but that's even crazier. So we are still in iron armor, so let's not do that. Uh, 
okay, let's see how much paper we got. Ooh, okay, five stacks basically. 28 leather, you're joking. That is not nearly even enough. That's 28 books, nine. From all of that, I got nine bookshelves? Oh my gosh, do I have any left over? No, I don't. Oh, I need basically 40 more bookshelves. I, I literally have to go on an adventure of a lifetime. I need to go kill cows or find villages. You know what? I say we, we travel south this time. We've been going north. Let's travel south. Let's see if we can find more villages. Or, or maybe we do go north because honestly, north. Uh, hello, where's my map? I've definitely traveled other places. This is really rude. Well, anyways, we're going on a cow killing expedition slash village expedition. Let's go. Well, 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 if it isn't a vil- Oh, look at all those horses. Horses do drop leather, I do believe. This village does not look comfy nice, though, so I feel like oh, we can really get some loot here. Hi, everyone. It's me. Just here for a little bit of fun. Yeah, let me take some of this terracotta as well. You guys don't need that. I don't know what that is. Is that play? What is this? Yeah, I'll take that as well. And you know what? This looks fun. I'll take this too. Thanks. Just here to collect your taxes. They're due. Oh, kitty kitty meow meow. Oh, would you look at that? You also have some leather bearing animal. Give it here and give it to that. That's right. I have diamond weapons now and I'm not ready to use them. I wish I did have a looting, you know? Oh, a blacksmith. Baba Blacksmith, have you any gold? I don't need gold, actually. I'm really uh. good for the diamonds. <gasps> and the iron. And the apples. And the iron. Uh. The axe. And I will take that gold, actually, too. Here, I'll give you some dirt. Uh. Huh. What do you have to trade? Emeralds. Uh. Good. Are you guys poor? That's all you guys have? No other rooms with chests? Oh? Hi, Cowifas. Don't mind me. I'm just here for books. <gasps> is, this a, is this a book place? Ugh, it's not, but I will take the box. And take it. Where's your library? Okay, they clearly don't believe in librarians here, so uh, we'll just have to go kill their horses. Ugh, this makes me so sad to have to do this. I don't think that dropped anything. Do you not drop anything anymore? Oh, yes you did, and you dropped a head. Thank you so much. Okay, why is this so much sadder than killing cows? Why do you have to make those screeches? That was traumatizing. I don't know if I can do that anymore. I've been killing away. I've made 43 leather hats. I think we're gonna need triple that. But look, I made it to the frosty dimension and there it, oh my gosh, this is, hello, hello, hello. <gasps> oh, that is terrifying. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. We're gonna go up to that village, which on my mini map looks quite large. So there has to be a library. Oh, hello again. Look at you with your demonic red evil eyes. You know what, for old time's sake, I'm gonna hit you last it. Oh, one hit wonder. Ooh, hoo, hoo. sorry. Oh, was that your mother? I'm sorry. Or am I? Okay, this place better have a damn library because I just want books. Please, please. This is a big place. I know you have to read up here in the tundra. Uh. Get out of bed, child. This is my bed. Go find your own. Don't look at me like that. So does no one read here or like what's going on exactly? You're joking. There was nothing here. This was a waste of my time. Okay, I have a good feeling about this village. Look at it, it looks so big, but first. Murder. There's a murder on the dance floor. Yes, these people look educated. Look at all the sheep. You know what? I could use some wool as well. Don't look at me like that. 
You would be too if you were desperate. Okay, educators, give me your book. You know what? I will take this. And you will have a job. Library? No. <gasps> a library. Wait, first, sir. Wait, you will trade nine emeralds for a bookshelf? That seems like a lot, actually. I don't know. I don't know, sir. It, like, that's nine emeralds. That's nine emeralds. Like, I think I just deserve them. Do you have any fellow librarians here by chance? I knew you guys were educated. I could see it the moment I arrived. Okay, I guess that's enough. Well, I'm back home from the slaughtering and it's time to find out how much I actually acquired for books. So we have 64 leather and a lot of paper. Wait, is this gonna make 64 books? Stop it right now. Oh my God. I have, okay, okay, hold on. How much is this gonna make? 21 bookshelves. Okay, how many do I have? Nine, that's 30 bookshelves? <gasps> okay, hold on, we're making an enchanting table. I'm not even waiting for this. We're starting over here. We're gonna make a full on enchanting area. Oh, this makes me so excited. That left me with eight. Are you kidding? Hitting? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, do I have the materials to even make an enchanting? Okay, two diamonds. I think that's enough. I have the obsidian. Can we make it? We sure can. <laughs> okay, let's get some lapis. <gasps> oh, this is, this was literally made to be an enchanting area. Okay, let's enchant our pickaxe. I mean, hopefully, Fortune three? Where have you been my whole life? That is beautiful. Oh, wow. Now I just need, it has unbreaking efficiency four. I, now I need to go mining for diamonds. Like I am ready. Although it could use some mending because it's looking a little bit damaged or I could add diamonds to it as well. But yeah, okay. Well, I, now that we have this, I say we just start decorating the rest of this place because I have gathered everything but really the bookshelves. So you know what? Enough is enough. Okay, so instead of doing a time lapse, I'm just gonna show you guys what it's like when I decorate. So in a single player world, I basically have a, the same house and I decorated it there. So I can now in survival go through and just place all the blocks that I've already designed in that world. And it comes out to look like this. So I literally just right click on these places and it will put the block there. I'll show you. So I literally just right click it. It makes life so easy. Like literally just clicking. Place these bookshelves that I spent so long to make that I literally probably don't have enough to fill this room, but maybe I do, I don't know. Do I? And so when you're seeing the time lapse, you're just seeing this. You're only getting half the story. Ploppity plop plop. Okay, well I'm done and I put shaders on just for the reveal. And sorry if there's a little bit of lag, but it shouldn't be too bad. But here is the finished right side. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's so pretty. I just feel so warm and cozy here. I love these bookshelves that kind of like separate the staircase from the rest of the room. And my enchanting area is so cute. I put some of the heads of the fallen that, you know, contributed to these bookshelves. I'm still missing about five bookshelves, but that's fine. More to be unlocked. But what I'm super excited about is my new bedroom area. So I am gonna have like a curtain of glow berries. Hopefully it'll grow all the way down and then I could just like come in here and like go to bed. It'll be so cute. Um, I think I actually might have like, some bone meal. Let's get those going. They need to start growing, do their job. Okay, five bone meal. Let's make this count. Does this make them grow or just glow? Pretty. Now go downwards. Come down here. Come on. 
any day now. And then over here, this is what it looks like in shaders, which I don't know if I've shown you. I probably have. But yeah, missing four bookshelves over here and two over there. So I guess six total. Oh no, just one over there, five total. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this for a little bit. Oh. I'll be back. Okay, the shaders are back off because there is something happening at Spawn. So let's go head over and see what all these people are doing over there. Um, I'm sorry, but what the hell is that? What? <laughs> no way. I believe this is probably something of sausages. It is like a giant gravestone nether portal. Oh, I, I, I'm still hoping, Sausage, you get the help that you need. Good riddance. My goodness gracious, Yannis. I don't even know. Uh, am I in the right spot? <laughs> Why is nobody here? Hello? Hello? Watch the berry bushes, Hello. they're deadly. You guys have cool horses? Huh? Yeah. Hi. Oh, I'm jealous. South side has everything. Oh, yeah, the south, south side's pretty side. cool, isn't it? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Is that Hello. So? Fish How goes it? Uh, it's, it's the middle right. man, center boy. Middle man, center of all wow. things. Wow, everybody what you are. Of all the center man. We basically said you could this pick a if you want to. <laughs> pick a what? All right, well, uh, good job on the bundles, everybody. We finished them all up, but uh, one weird thing, the, the fates only gave me 13 coins back, and there's 14 of us here on the server, so well, anybody want to own up that they didn't? How did Sorry. you manage his job? How did you manage to go around and you managed to go around and give all of us something we specifically wanted? You gave me but five didn't put stacks of a blocks. stack of Did something in there. A stack of logs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was busy helping you, everybody. Uh, <laughs> you that's fair. Take. That's fair. Okay. Well, uh, here's your coin. Have a Thank coin. You. Have Thank a you. coin. Oh. Coin for oh, you. Jerry, you got my coin. Yay. Give me my Yay. coin, Jerry. Coins. 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 If we kill him, we have the coins to bring him back. That's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, we've got 13 more coins on the server, so that's absolutely amazing. And now it's time for the second advent. Woo! Woo! We have the link here at Spawn if you want to read through it a little bit more. But basically, this one is the Build Something at Spawn Challenge. What that something is, is up to you because there's a little bit of a twist on this one. You'll see on page two, right. the difference on this one here is that whatever you build at Spawn, it's whatever you want to make. But the challenge is you have to get eight people on the server to sign your book to say it was a successful, worthy addition to Spawn Town. Oh, whatever um, that might be, you, you want to make a shop, you want to make a park, you want to yep. make whatever it might be. So I've got lecterns and I've got book and quills for every single person and you've got to get people to sign on yours. And now I can put that book back. Is this to get approval to build or after you build it? No, we build it and build then we have it. to get Ooh. votes, I think, to say that Ooh, we've lectern. done a good job. Oh, I get a lectern. Can I have one? lectern yet? All right, everybody, this is my book. lectern. Take Take a book and uh, go build and go get your right, signatures. Here go. Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think there's a ghost in this forest. Ooh. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he he logged out. He got too scared. So scared. We scared him away. That's kind of tragic. Wait, where do you live? I live over here. I just don't have a good path. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Who made this pond? Who do you think? The psychopath oh. of the server. The show off. Yeah. What are you gonna build at spawn? I honestly am not sure at all. I'm a little gagged. I wasn't expecting to have to do. Ah. Oh, I was just wasn't assaulted. Me, Mark, you know what? I'm gonna make a Mark. police station. That's what I'm it gonna wasn't, do. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I know it was, it was that Sorry. perpetrator. And I think we need a law enforcement on the server for people like that. I will give a witness statement. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, a jail, a jail cell. That's what I'll make. Oh, that that's what you should make at spawn. A jail, a jailhouse. Yes, with torture chambers. <laughs> Genius. We can hold people upside down over a lava pit. Oh, yes. Okay, I like this idea. I'm gonna go with my I blueprint. might build a honey shop or a like honey? a honey farm. Ooh, would you be honey. interested? Would you buy a honeycomb and stuff if I sold it or like provide Honestly, it? Honestly, I probably would use honey for my villagers to keep them put. Okay, okay. That's the only thing I can think of that I would use it for. All right, maybe I'll do my honey shop. That's my only idea right now. I like that, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go collect honey then. All right, good luck. Good luck, see you, Joey. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna make 
prison cell with a torture chamber and a place to report crimes that have happened on the server. You're looking at Officer Joe. That's right. Kind of like Pirate Joe, but more official. I guess it's the opposite of a pirate. It's Officer Joe. Yeah, the law enforcement of the server. But I'll obviously be corrupt and I will give my friends the benefit of the doubt and I will only jail people who deserve it. <gasps> Ooh, and then I could request bribes. <gasps> I could be like, oh, well, guess what? If you don't want to go to jail, then you can pay me 10 diamonds. And guess what? I'll just throw away the case and you're innocent. <gasps> this is perfect. Okay, I gotta start working on a blueprint. Also, take a look at this. I planted so many cherry blossoms up on this hill, so it's like just adding to the scenery to really paint the picture of my beautiful house here up on the cliff tops. Oh, I just love it so much. Well, we officially have two fate coins. Oh, I feel so rich. But honestly, I also feel very poor at the same time because I was completely humiliated. There at spawn, everybody was in their luscious diamond armor that there was just me, poor little iron boy who can't even protect himself. If, you know, we were under attack. So with my fortune pickaxe, I'm going on a mining expedition. I'm going to risk my life. Now that I have two coins, I can be resurrected. And you know what? I just feel extra brave. So we're going to go find diamonds and try and get full diamond armor. No, we're not going to try. We are going to do. Let's go down into the depths and let's get the goody goody gumdrops. I did find a really cool underground place a while ago that seemed very promising. I only saw it for like a little bit when I was looking for iron and there was like a really big deep cavern that I was too afraid to go into. So we're going to put our brave faces on today and we're going in. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. That could have been my death before I even got to die. Okay, this is just, here we go. Okay, this is the entrance. I'm nervous. Everything should be pretty safe going in because it's all lit up for me to go in. But um, you can never be too sure, right? I, I really just don't want to. Is this the way? Hello? I think it is. Okay, yes. This is the area where I got a bunch of iron off camera. <laughs> Okay, so this part is all pretty bright and shiny. No bad guys can appear, but this is not. Um, this is not what I'm referring to. There, oh, okay, hi, sir. I'll be with you. I should have enchanted the sword. Okay, wait till you see the cavern beneath. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Let's light up this whole area first because I don't want things falling from the sky onto me. Okay, spider, just chill out. I think there's a thousand percent diamonds down there, but it's looking really dark sided down there and I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared to go down there. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. Maybe this is like a staircase down. We're just going to water elevator down. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna take an already pre-established water elevator down there. Oh, I don't know if I can do this, you guys. I'm, I'm scared. There's, so, no, I can't, I don't know if I can do this. I know that there's so many diamonds down there, but my body is just in pure panic right now. We just gonna light this place up. What if a baby zombie just like appeared? There's so many down there. Oh, I need to go in there and I need to just go place like a crap ton of torches. But what if there's a baby zombie? It could kill me so fast. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but think of all the diamonds, Charlie. Think of all the damn diamonds. There's so many diamonds on there. We're going for it. Okay, I haven't seen any diamonds on the ground here. I'm a little confused. And I feel a little ripped off. Where are my torches? Where are my torches? Where are my torches? Where are my torches? Out of here. Oh my god, I hate this. There we go. There's a diamond mond. 
It's about damn time. Okay, we got three diamonds. <gasps> diamonds hiding under Goldilocks? Bitch, get out of here. You're scaring me. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is the jackpot. Wait, it goes deeper? I don't know if I can do all that. No way. No way. There's a whole nother. I can't. We're so far down. Okay. What we have to do is we need to make diamond armor to protect us for now while we continue our expedition. Okay, I feel a little bit better. We're just gonna make a water elevator to get down. And as soon as we get down, we're going to just plop these down. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Oh, diamonds. Oh my god, you little bat bitch. Oh, we're out of torches. We need coal. You are scaring me. Oh yeah, fight each other. That'll teach you. Go after him. Literally? Get away from me, you pervert. Oh. Oh my god, I have full diamond armor. I did it! Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so much better, but I need more. Like, having nine extra is not nearly enough. I want those ones over there. Oh, I want those ones over there too. Oh, we're gonna go the one way around. We're gonna go this way, because I want those diamonds. Okay, I know for a fact there's so many more diamonds down here. However, um, I'm out of torches and there's no more I can make. There's no coal at this level, so we're just gonna go back home and take this as a win. Whew, made it back to the surface. Okay, I'm gonna scurry on home and we can get two level 30 enchantments out of this run. So I'll definitely probably do the legs and chest or maybe the helmet. I'm not sure. Maybe the boots for feather falling too. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's see what we can enchant. Let's first take a look at our chest. Thorns too? Absolutely not. That's boring. Legs? Unbreaking three, that's a risk. We don't know what potentially could come from that. Blast protection four, not bad, but would that come with anything else? If this says feather falling, we're going with it. Depth strider, no, don't care. So honestly, all these kind of stink, except for the potential blast protection four that could come with other things. Or the unbreaking. Do we risk it? Or let's take a look at our sword. Fire aspect. I say we go with the unbreaking on the pants and just hope that it's a little bit something. Or wait, blast protection. Let's do blast protection. Cause if a freaking creeper comes up, this could save our lives. And we can always get that like breathing apparatus from a different thing. Okay, what's our second one gonna be? An unbreaking? Protection three. Feather falling? No. Okay. We are gonna have to make a risk regardless. It's unbreaking. Protection three. We're going with the protection three. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. The unbreaking's nice. Okay, I'm headed back to spawn to build the jail cell because I gathered a ton of materials to make it. It's just like a simple thing. And uh, it looks like there's already been so much progress. Candles, honey, coming soon. We gotta pick a spot. My goodness gracious. Oh, and there's a building beacon around here. This is fabulous. And by building, I mean mining. What is this? Oh, me oh my. The debate settling ring. And this? Scott's General Store. How, people are way too fast. This is in, oh, how is there so much? Moss, one diamond, what? What is these symbols? What do they mean? This is a lot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nine diamonds, one beacon, stop it. You can get beacons here. Oh, puppy, hi puppy. Oh my goodness. Four diamonds for wither. Okay, there's nothing available there. Oh. Oh. Whoa, that is crazy. All right, we gotta, oh, I need to find a spot for my jail. What is this? I don't know. Uh, how many people have stores already? I literally, I wasn't prepared for this. Where can the jail go? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna clear this area out because this seems like a great place for a prison. A prison across from a dungeon brawl ring seems pretty good. So I'm gonna just clear some of this wood out. Okay, yeah, I think this positioning is pretty good. Let me just clear out some of these trees and we should be pretty good to go. <laughs> Okay, the prison is made and it's such a cute prison. It's so adorable, look at it, oh my gosh. It even has a little cage out here. I'm gonna put a bucket of lava down below it. But yeah, it's just like a cute little guy. Um, let me show you inside. So you come in here and it says Officer Joe's prison. You come on in. I need to get a book and fill so people can report their crimes and this is the prison cell. Nothing in here but a bed because guess what? You're in jail, so you get nothing. So yeah, that's gonna happen. And then over here, this is gonna be the public humiliation cage. It'll be lava. There we go. And there's even a trap door that they'll stand on top of and fall into the pit of lava and that'll teach them a lesson they'll never forget. <sighs> So yeah, it's lovely. I'm gonna go get a book and quill and put it in there. But that's pretty much it for this episode. I've created my shop. In the next episode, I will go around and I will get people to sign off on, you know, approving this so I can get my bait coin. But it's cute. And next episode, we'll also go through more of the shops and maybe we'll go on a little shopping spree. But yeah, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you all next time. Good damn, bye.